It is a marvelous, it is an awesome morning. So cold. <laughs> and not only is it just cold, the wind, it's not hard, it's not bad, it's pretty, pretty brutal. Hurts the ears, <laughs> hurts the nose, it's like it's too cold. Got the guys uh, hauling water. Stanley is, Stanley and Ty, I have them fixing the backhoe. I'm here in the Connex trying to do some inventory stuff. It is so cold in that thing. It's hard to walk around. And usually walking around gets you warm and usually walking out of the Connex getting the sun gets you warm but it's not the case right now. It's too cold. <laughs> I got like a jacket on. I'm about to throw another jacket on. And uh, once that wind picks up, hits the ears, it's not the funnest thing. And with with the uh, Navajo Mountain Team, it gets really brutal here. As you, we don't have access to this. This is the chapter houses, the warehouse. There's no door on there. It's just a screen uh, outside door. And all we have is a Connex, a smaller Connex, and then a large Connex. That is what we operate out of. We do not have electricity here too, so we got a panel on this Connex. We got the generator going. And for me to keep warm, <laughs> trying to keep warm, hand warmers. <laughs> change the color in here get a little dark and also also what keeps me warm is I uh, I snagged Mike's little heater that he had in his office <laughs> I'm like trying to keep warm this this is metal so it's not like the best insulation it gets pretty cold and I can't walk I have to like walk back and forth and pace. If I step outside I get even like more colder. That thing doesn't really work as well. So trying to stay warm. Just a little too cold. <laughs> my uh, my feet gets cold in there. When I'm doing like counting this inventory stuff, the camera's like really cold so the screen on here a little shaky but I gotta like keep moving I do counting my feet gets cold I gotta like pace around for a bit sit down again try and get warm on that little dinky heater <laughs> it's just too cold but I made a uh, called Howard I need to fill up their water cards which is perfect because I can sit inside of a truck and get hot <laughs> So when we have these things called water carts, we have these. They have they're preloaded with money on there. This one's Howard's. Card number one. Later. Let's see it. They are still wa hauling water to Shanto area. But, you get those water cards, and a huge shout out to Inscription House Chapter, Shanto Chapter for having this, which is amazing, it's almost like NTUA. Uh, you get those water cards, you load them up, and then you stick them into here. You drop your card in here. It's all like a magnetic strip. It's not like a debit card or that chip. It's all, I don't know how they do it. It's, it's pretty cool. But you just stick it in here. You use a magnet, 
reads the card, punch in your number, and then your pin number. Push enter, and then it will tell you how much you have on there left. Depends on how much you load on there. But with places like this, they have two sections, a side loading. It's a cam lock, so you just stick your hose on there, lock it in, or you use an overhead. I like the overhead. It, it runs a lot faster. So what you would do is, sorry, my nose is like running because it's really cold. What you do is you pull in with your truck, your trailer, use the overhead or you use the side loading, put your card in there, enter your pin, push enter and you start. Then it will start unloading water through here you'll hear it run through there too and then when you're done just push stop wait for your car to complete the transaction it'll tell you when to pull it if you pull it before that you can uh, zero out the card and it's a hassle because you got to go back in there tell them that you pulled it too early it'll show on their their little computer so it's not like you're out of luck so it'll show how much money you had left then you just and then you're done it's really cool it'll also show you how much money you have used when you uh, hauled water or you started using this and it'll also show you gallons so you pull up with a 275 tank it'll be 275 gallons a 1400 gallon trailer or that tank will be 1400 gallons of water there'll be like air pockets in there and they'll go over 1400 but yeah it's really nice when you have places like that inscription house just got that one put in and shanto has had theirs for a while and places like here you know, they understand what Dig Deep is doing, what the water is being used for. Shanto is the same way. So, they know that we're not using it for, like, construction use. It's for, you know, clean drinking water. So, they understand that we're not wasting that water on, like, construction stuff. So, they, they let us come here and uh, haul water. Large amounts of water. Which it's understandable for places like this to kind of like tell us to stop hauling water because their water storage here is running low 3,000 gallon water truck twice 6,000 gallons a day and depending on how much he actually hauls so you could be looking like 12,000 over 12,000 gallons of water a week of just water hauling so communities like this in Shanto it's understandable for them to tell us like kind of like hold off on water hauling so their tanks can get refilled with water but after that if we can't haul water from here we go to a we'll resort to like Black Mesa there's this potable drinking water and then after that we got Page haul water from them and then after Page is a Flagstaff we'll, we'll actually make the trip from here in Shanto or you know anywhere but mainly here I'm in an inscription house but here go all the way down to Flagstaff <laughs> pick up like three or six thousand gallons of water and bring it back it's a it's a long haul it's a long drive so so if you see that truck with that tank that black tank on the trailer or if you see the water trucks the yellow one and the white one with big dig deep stickers on there give them that thumbs up tell them you know good job great job honk the horn at them not as in thumbs up as I want to ride <laughs> don't get that one mixed up thumbs up as in great job <laughs> 
So here's a special one. Steven just showed up. We'll give you guys a little bit of an example of what it looks like to uh, pull it through. So we normally do the parity cup. Just pull up. You got the hose right there. And since Steven has me, I will line them up to get the hose in line with that. Had to throw a rock at him, he didn't see me. Then you get <laughs> Then you get it lined up. I'm laughing at it because he got out and I threw a rock at him. <laughs> Did I hit you? Did I get you? Oh. <laughs> Line it up with what Steven's doing. Come on. Scoot on over, Steven. Yep. So what Steven does is he puts the card in there. Just like that. So he doesn't swipe it, nothing like that. He enters his pin. Just grab the hose and he's Yeah, as soon as he pushes start, this, you'll hear it. Right there. Sweet sound of the electric water. There you go. Yeah, very, very simple. Put the card in. Only thing you gotta remember is don't pull it out. Put the card in, get nice potable drinking water. Stick your hose right in there, and then you're good to go. Like a rat walking around. <laughs> Steven called. Yep. <laughs> we got Steven up here making sure it's not gonna overflow and come out and spill everywhere the uh, wind blew by and knocked it out then you just look over here it'll show you how many gallons you're pushing how much you have left on the card so when that's full push stop and then it'll give you a grand total of how much you have left on the card. Alright, go ahead. Then you just push stop. Don't waste a drop, Steven. <laughs> Remove your card. While Steven's buttoning up, putting that lid back on, tightening it down, he's gonna pull out of there and I'm gonna refill his card. So he'll have more money on there for tomorrow's, for Monday's water haul. Hopefully our trucks will be done, which I don't think so. I cannot make the Rocky Balboa song, but <laughs> <laughs> so we have these like little fuel carts <laughs> for each truck. 
And Steven was like freaking out. He's like, I don't know where the fuel card went. And I looked in the, like, the glove compartment and Mike, <laughs> Mike put them all inside of like those clear uh, envelope style. And it was tucked in there with the registration and insurance. And Steven's like trying to milk it everywhere he goes. <laughs> it, it is pretty chilly. It's a little warmer over here. I'm on the north side of Navajo Mountain. I can see some snow up there. So, I'm, yeah, I'm on the Utah side. I had to leave work early to pick up my nieces. And I am here at Navajo Mountain High School. It's a lot colder than uh, in uh, Shanto. <laughs> it's like 38. The wind, like 30. <laughs> When I uh, when I finished with Steven and got back to the Connex, I was a uh, that that truck was like so hot. The, it has seat warmers, which is nice. And I got out of the truck and I was like, ah, oh, it's not too bad. I had to open the gate, pulled in, parked the truck, and I was like, it was it was not too bad. And then I walked around, had to fold the mo the mirrors back over. Then went to open the Connex, and I almost said it out loud, like, it's not too bad. But that wind hit me, I was like, yeah, it's pretty cold. <laughs> so, that Ultra is on Saturday. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold without a doubt. And they normally start here at the high school. They'll put up like the stand around here. This is like, I think they play baseball here. Not 100% sure. But, they'll put that like start and finish line here. Oh, actually start will be kind of on the road. And then the finish line will be around here. I think it's like 34, 36 miles. So, gotta get here super early. Grab my number bib, get ready to run. I think it's usually like 30 minutes after, an hour after. Sun's not like out, it's never been out whenever I started. And apparently there's like a lot of things that go on here. Never been here when it was uh, during the ultra, so I was always out there running, hurting my body. But last year they had it here, and the year before that, well, actually, a year before that, it was a virtual, but my first time was here. It went towards, like, the canyon, Lake Powell. Not to the water, because you're on top of a, a canyon. But it went that way, and then last the year after that was virtual and then last year's was going this way so we left from here did like a mile or two and then made our w way i'm having a hard time remembering this made our way that way so going onto the main road running on the main road got into like this mesa which is pretty cool it overlooked some of these houses then it made it up to this like this little mountain right here a little trail that came in made a hard left ran up the mountain and then you see this right in here ran up to here this is a little better ran up to here went around that got up on here and then went west i'm looking west right now so I went west and then it got to that little canyon area right in here, not on top of the mountain. But around that area and I came down here, that was one lap. 
we had to do two laps. And it was fun, it was hard. I'm not too keen on laps, so yeah. Saturday would be fun. Wish me luck. And I'm gonna film it and carry the GoPro. Let you guys see it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.